Now this is the Jason Striker 70 70 gallon fuel tank and uh, <laughs> when I was there I had him sign the tank so hey, this one's got an autograph on it from Jay or I have, as I affectionately call him Jay Rock <laughs> because uh, I know he's a pretty physically fit young man and he does a lot of scuba diving he's a good guy had a great time down there in Orlando visiting with him and he was very gracious with his time well anyway uh, so I went ahead and marked these there's your generator fuel supply this is your fuel supply this is your second vent that's your first vent that goes up to the Y that they supply with this kit and then there's your fuel return right here fuel inlet vent goes right beside the fuel inlet so pretty straightforward I guess you gotta lop these off I don't know I'm gonna try to fit it a couple of times before I do that and then I gotta drill the holes through here nice tank really nice tank not that heavy either one guy could handle it but it really is a two two man type of thing now, I believe you cut this this piece off right here uh, to clear the exhaust system so we'll see how that how that goes but anyway there's a trailer I brought it up on and oddly enough my trailer is four foot by five foot and it fit on top of their perfect just ratchet strapped it down and hot shotted back from uh, Florida so anyway that's what we got right now all right so wouldn't you know I backed this up just far enough where I couldn't get the door open but uh, inside I've got the big fat man here I've got the great big propane tank and uh, it's about half full so I reached up here uh, reached up here shut it off all the way made sure everything's locked out or shut off don't smell any funny smells and I'm gonna crack the line and bleed this line off so I can reroute it after I uh, after I uh, pull pull the uh, line apart and uh, I'm going to cut this cross member out here in, a, in just a little bit but oh look here's a nice little addition see this is a motor home so the the bees like to make a home in your motor home <laughs> anyway all right so this this gas line comes out of the bottom of the of the box here and then it makes a, a 90 and it goes across to the other side and makes another 90 and goes goes up in uh, by where the uh, fuel tank is going to go in to that area right over there. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. The black tank. I don't know. It, it's not leaking, but I don't know if there's anything in there. Haven't gotten that far yet. So that's what we got. All right, give you another shot of the underneath here it's just kind of wide open at this point in the game the thing that's nice about this particular motorhome is the previous owner put those dual stabilizer bars on the rear axles or bogies and I think that really enhances the uh, handling of the unit but next thing to come down is going to be this arrangement here and that's all going to be replaced now again this this exhaust system looks real good I think it's fairly new uh, it doesn't look like it has a lot of use pretty nice little setup here 
Okay, I got these got these two mystery holes right here. I don't know what those go to. But uh, I'm gonna be plugging those up. And I'll be putting some covers over these, these big circles. So. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you, my hat's off to these guys that take the time to video all these jobs on these motorhomes because I mean I've literally watched uh you know, hundred of these videos on how to do things here. And you would not believe how painstakingly time consuming uh, shooting these videos are. So I'm not a videographer, but I'll tell you what, uh, I want to give a shout out to, uh, you know, Mr. GMC and Eric Schwelling and you know, uh, Industrial Pursuits, Jim, Bounds, and Jason, and all them people. Because, man, this eats up a lot of time. I'd, I'd almost be finished with this job if it wasn't for having to video all this stuff. So, I'm just saying is that uh, it takes a lot. And so, uh, thank you guys for all the stuff you've done. I learned a lot from your videos, and uh, I appreciate the hell out of all of you. Alright, so this is what I'm going to be using to uh, take out the cross member in the center to be replaced with that aluminum spar that's built into the tank. And now if you come over here, uh, you'll see that I have some clamps to uh, hold, hold it up in place when I get ready to go. And uh, I'm going to take a quick measurement under here. Hang on. Whoops, see this is what I was saying. You always forget something. So let's take a quick measure here. This is a four foot. Whoops. This is four foot right here. Cross. So now I'm gonna go underneath and show you where this has got to be cut. Okay, the other end already fell down. It's really hard to hold things like this, but four foot's right about there. So you've got one circle inside where the filler tube goes, and then it's the beginning of this circle right here. This is where you're going to cut on both sides. So this is the front cross member, but we're going to be cutting this one here, the center one, cross. So I have to I have to move this this hose right here because this is your LP. So just take that loose and I'll reroute that after I do get ready to do the final install. I'll figure all that out. Alright, that's it. There's the cross members out. The one you gotta take out in the center. So I'm committed now, so let's take a look underneath, show you what kind of uh, what we got here. Okay, that tank's going to go up here in the, <clears throat> this section that's void right there. So, couldn't break loose the fitting for the LP tank, so I just kind of worked around it and kind of moved it out of the way and all. I don't know, I'll figure out what to do tonight when I want to research how I can get around that. I may have to do it, but there's yet another little bee's nest in there. Boy, it's, 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 this motorhome was, was not only a motorhome, but a bee hotel. So, anyway, that's what we got so far. We're going to drop this other stuff and we're going to dress up the, the cuts right there. This is kind of what we got right there. And uh, that's what we got. So let's continue.